So the Model Y is here, Sandy Munro is doing the breakdown, and we have a major surprise. The wiring system seems to be unchanged from the Model 3. Wait, wasn't the wiring system supposed to go down from a few kilometers to 100 meters? Hmm, let me explain what's going on here. Well, it's official. Sandy Munro has torn down the Model Y, and it doesn't seem to have the new wiring harness. Which is strange, considering there have been many reports, and the Tesla have made a patent application for this revolutionary new wiring harness architecture. Not to mention, this is not just internet speculation. Elon Musk has said himself that the wiring harness on the Model Y will be reduced to just 100 meters. Have a listen to this. It's just one example, but the wiring harness on Model S is about three kilometers in length. The wiring harness on Model 3 is one and a half kilometers in length. The wiring harness on Model Y will be 100 meters. Okay, so what gives here? Obviously the new wiring system is not there. And do you know what? I'm not the slightest bit surprised, and I'll tell you why. But in order to understand the reason, we gotta go back to the launch of the Model X in which Tesla tried to put a lot of new technology into the car all at once, which caused a litany of problems, which I'll play for you at the end of the episode. But after Tesla resolved all those issues, Elon Musk acknowledged what the real issue was and made it clear the next time they unveil a new vehicle, they will do fewer major changes at the beginning and then roll the new features in over time. Have a listen. The, I think the mistake we made with uh, with the Model X, which I really think we've taken to heart at Tesla, is that we've, we've put too many new features and technologies, too many great things all at once into into a product. In retrospect, uh, it would have been a better decision to do fewer things with the, the first version of the Model X and then uh, roll in the capabilities and features and uh, new technologies over time um, in, in subsequent years. So I do think that... Uh, yeah, there was some hubris there with, uh, with the X. So there you have it. Tesla have not only learned their painful lessons, but are smart enough to make sure they don't repeat them. The new wiring harness is coming, but give it time. Tesla will be rolling in new features over time. And if you're wondering, should I wait to buy a Model Y so I can get the new features later? Sure. Just know you'll be waiting forever, as Tesla will always be making improvements and adding in new features. So, I hope that answers some of your questions. And as a bonus, I'll leave you with some issues Tesla had when they tried to add too many new features into the Model X, all at once. Enjoy. Some of the things that, that cause those issues are somewhat counterintuitive. They're, they're not the obvious things. So, I mean, for, for at least a few weeks, I mean, maybe three or four weeks actually, the constraint was the chrome finish on the bright work around the window, the front window. Okay, and you think like, how on earth could that be the constraint? Mm. But it, it was. Or seals. Or se seals, yeah, the seals. And um, yeah, the seals have been a huge, huge pain. I mean, essentially the seals had to be redesigned, and then, and, and then the seals that we, we did have had to be reworked by hand in order to, to, to sort of fit correctly. Yeah, seals are sort of a bane. We, we had a lot of issues with uh, obviously the second receipt. We've now insourced that capability. Yeah, we really don't see any any fundamental issues. 